Hello guys, I am doing a Tabitha Brown special today. I am here at Refectory Cafe in Durham, North Carolina, and so I wanted to try out their vegan items. Uh, I'm in Raleigh, and so I said I was going to do like vegan, vegan all week, or vegan for a couple days, we'll see. So the Refectory, it's not a vegan restaurant, but it has vegan items, so I decided I'll just go ahead and try the vegan items. So I got the vegan chili right here and then the vegan bolognese, mushroom bolognese. So let's see how these taste. Now when I'm on one of these trips, I, the last trip I said I was going to go to a vegan restaurant but they were closed on... They were closed when I was there or what happened? I think, yeah, they were closed because I got there late. So they closed at seven and I was late getting there. So by the time I got to, um, where was I last time? Virginia, Vir Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia. So right now I'm traveling for work and I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. And so I scooped out some vegan places to try while I'm on this trip. And uh, the place I wanted to go tonight, they were closed. They're closed Monday and Tuesday. Um, so I will go there tomorrow. So the Refectory is another vegan restaurant. Uh, let's see if I can find something for Thursday. So I got the chili, I got the uh, bolognese, and I got the vegan, rat the vegan ratatouille to go. So that's going to be my lunch for tomorrow. So when I go out to dinner, I get lunch for the next day because I don't have time to uh, go get lunch while I'm working. So that's how, that's how I do it. So this is my time with the proud moment, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. The next place tomorrow, I'm really excited because they have like tacos and um, stuff like that. It's a Latin American, it's a Latin American place. So we've got tostones. I'm really excited about tomorrow. I wanted that to be today, but I didn't realize that they were closed today. Today is May 25th, by the way, and I'm in Durham, North Carolina. So I'm, I'm traveling for work, and so that's why I said I'm gonna try vlogging my work trips to see how see how this goes, see if I like it, see how you guys like it. But uh, I know Tabitha Brown, I love her, and she's been in Chicago, and she's been going to the Chicago vegan restaurant, and I said, you know, let me try that, because I eat every time, so every time I go somewhere, I have to eat, so let me try a vegan spin. Uh, yeah, so this is what this is today. Let's give the vegan chili a try. It says, what does it say on the menu? The best chili in Durham, so let's see. Now, I don't think I've ever had vegan chili it tastes like chili I I don't think you would know that it's um vegan it tastes pretty good yeah you wouldn't tell that this is vegan I'm not sure what um it's probably soy granules it doesn't it doesn't say on the menu what the um what's in there but you know, it's got like black beans, black beans, kidney beans, and I think maybe pinto beans. Yeah, it looks like there's three beans in here. This tastes really good. Now I would want a piece of cornbread. I gotta say. When I eat chili at home, I eat it with cornbread. Wow, yeah. This really is nice. I hope you guys can hear me. It's um, a lot of traffic noise in the back, so I'll see how this uh, sounds when I play it back. Let's move on to the mushroom bolognese. It says the mushroom bolognese has sauteed shiitake and cremini mushrooms, house marinara, and linguine. And it is a lot of mushrooms here. Hopefully, you guys can see the sun is going down, so I get a little get a little sun sunset action going out. 
All right, let's taste the taste the mushrooms. I'm not sure which ones are the shiitake or what shiitake mushroom is. Or how is it different from the cremini? I don't know. I can't tell you which is the shiitake right now. But the mushrooms taste good. Although maybe I was kind of hoping for like more mushroom variety instead of just two mushrooms. This tastes good. I don't think there's really anything special about it. I'm just gonna say this one is good. Nothing, nothing too special. And it is like 90 degrees out here. It is hot. I just came from the airport. Haven't even made it to the hotel yet. I had to stop by and eat first because it's on the way to the hotel from the airport, so. And I don't really have time to go to the hotel, change, come back, that sort of thing, so. It's gonna be a busy night because it's um, after six. I gotta go to the hotel, iron my clothes for um, tomorrow and Wednesday, tomorrow and Thursday, get my, get my work stuff ready probably have to do a little work in the hotel room and I like to have at least an hour to relax um, before I have to go to sleep so when I'm on a work trip I feel like I'm better at going to bed on time when I'm at home 12 o'clock I'll still be up yesterday I was up till 12 30 why because I want to go to sleep when I want to go to sleep and <laughs> if you got to wake up and go to work that's kind of not exciting so yeah but when I'm on a work trip I gotta be out at a certain time because I have to be there I have to meet people and so that makes me makes me more disciplined in going to bed I like to go to bed 10 11 so yeah I like to by nine o'clock I should be settled down showered and just relaxing doing what I want to do but we'll see how this goes I'm sure I have to check emails and check in but I'm hoping that will um, that will come to an end soon but we'll see so guys I just wanted to come on here and do this little have my Tabitha Brown moment do my vegan my vegan restaurant try now I'm gonna be I said when I first started this job I said I'm gonna start blogging my trips but the first couple of trips I wasn't by myself so didn't feel comfortable doing that and then when I was by myself I only had two trips no one trip by myself just just that Virginia trip um, it just the timing didn't really work out so I'm glad this one worked out that I'm here and I'm doing this so with each work trip I will uh, try to show you guys what I'm eating because that's my exciting part <laughs> that's my exciting part of the work trip I get to um, see what's uh, good in the town and maybe splurge a little get my little seafood seafood is like my splurge so like sushi you know like a something seafood that's my splurge meal so um, I expense meals and so I try to be conscientious and not really spend a lot of money I do have a limit but I don't really go to the limit um, but as long as I Alright guys, so I'm going to be trying to vlog these trips when I'm on a trip and show you guys what I'm eating and if I do something around town, um, I'll take you guys along. So this is Durham, North Carolina and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Oh, sorry, that's not a good, that's not a good outro. So the restaurant is 
Refectory Cafe in Durham, North Carolina. It is not a vegan restaurant, but they do have three, well, if you count the chili, four vegan entrees on the menu. Yeah, and um, mushroom bolognese, it's okay. The vegan chili, yes. Now, the vegan ratatouille, I'm gonna have that for lunch, so we'll see how that is. But tomorrow, another vegan restaurant. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, guys. Bye. Okay, so I got the vegan ratatouille, and this is what it looks like. This will be my lunch tomorrow, and it looks so good. Like, maybe I should have gotten this for my dinner today. But let me just, let me just do a little taste test here. And the food is not very salty at all. Do I feel like it could use a little more salt? Maybe. You know, sometimes when you go out to eat, things are salty. But and they have these little uh, what is it called? Grit cakes. Mm. Yeah, that is good. All right, this is my lunch, so I cannot eat everything. <laughs> mm. But it is nice. So I finished the chili, and I'm packing up the uh, bolognese because I finished about half. So see, I I ordered too much food. <laughs> So the bolognese was enough for me to eat in one um, one sitting without the chili. So sometimes, you know, when you're trying things, you get too much food, but you're then you're not home, so you can't really put it in the fridge and keep it. I'm not even sure if this hotel has a fridge, so we'll see. The vegetables are nicely roasted. Flavor is good, but what I was saying, thinking was the bolognese needed some cheese but it's vegan no can't have cheese on the vegan menu but good nonetheless thank you you're welcome so yeah vegan cheese i haven't tried that yet um i know they do cashew cheese and stuff like that but no i did try vegan cheese i tried the Daya, the Daya cheddar, it melted well. I think it melted like cheese. This is really good. I like this little brick cake. Okay, let me stop. But like I said, it's my lunch, not my dinner. All right, guys, that is it for the refectory. It is, yeah, you give it a try good for my first uh, vegan meal but tomorrow I'm really excited about tomorrow so I'll see you guys tomorrow bye